The CWA says you're shipping 17,000 computer programming jobs there. That's proprietary information. Then how's India signing the trade deal? India, which hated the agricultural provisions and hated the light industrial provisions. There's a chance JCN will be moving some jobs there. You can't do this. After everything I negotiated for you? You toughen copyright enforcement. Now, it's safer for us to move sensitive programming work overseas. Over time, yeah. But not overnight. We've been working together for months and not a word of this. It's an internal business decision. Right. Yet somehow, the nation of India, population one billion and rising, slipped into a JCN board meeting? We lobbied through our trade association. That's how these things work. No. When I help you on a trade deal, you don't lobby behind my back. That's how these things work. It's economics. It's politics, and you know that. Now I got a union problem. When they go nuts, I got a congressional problem. We'll help you lobby. We're good at that. It's not going to cut it. 17,000 flesh and blood families spread over who knows how many congressional districts. It's more like 3.3 .3 million jobs over the next 10 years. Industry-wide, of course. You're... You're handing out pink slips while we're popping champagne corks and Brussels sprouts. We can hold the announcement, but American programmers make 40 bucks an hour. In India, it's 10. How about you send your CEO to India? This is how free trade works. You can't be surprised jobs are moving overseas. These jobs, yes. $80,000 a year jobs, yes. But the jobs that this deal was supposed to create, that we're laying off? If automakers innovated the way we do, today's cars would get 100,000 miles per gallon and cost 50 cents. Yeah, but they'd only be this big. I need you to spread the layoffs out over a couple of years. Can't do it. Just retrain them and shove them in a back office. We're a business, not a halfway house. Is that what you told the head of your union? No, but you can tell him yourself. I'm sure he's on his way over here right now.